this video is going to talk about linear functions. We're going to be diving into the formulas that is involved in linear functions, the use of x, the use of y-intercepts, the, the meaning of steepness, and how to answer questions involving linear functions. The equation of a linear function is y is equal to mx plus c and ax plus q, where a or m represents the gradient, then q or c represents the y-intercept. The gradient increases depending on the steepness of your graph. The steeper your graph, the higher the gradient. How do we sketch linear graphs? To sketch linear graph, we need two points. Now, it doesn't matter where the two points are, you just need two of them. Mostly, we only deal with having an x-intercept and a y-intercept, which represents two points. And with that, you can draw a straight line. This example explains what I mean. So the question says, sketch the function fx is equal to 2x minus 4. For us to be able to draw our straight line, all we need is two points. And the two points I'm going to get is the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So the x-intercept and the y-intercept will be calculated by the x-intercept is 2 and 0, the y-intercept would be 2. So as you can see, your x-intercept is 2 and 0, and your y-intercept is 0 and negative 4. Now, this is my choice. I could choose any other two points. I could substitute x as 1, then get the corresponding y value. I could substitute x as 2 and also get the corresponding y value. But I prefer to use this. And I'm going to stick to it. So it doesn't matter whichever you choose. Then all you just need to do now is just plot. And that's it. In terms of linear functions, the most important thing you definitely need to know is the gradient. It tells you if your graph is positive or it tells you if your graph is going to look negative. A positive graph looks like this, while a negative graph looks like this. Now, if you are given your graph and you want to determine the linear function, you would also need two points on your graph. That's very important. And the reason for that is that for us to get our graph, we first of all need a gradient, right? And to get a gradient, you need two points. And after that, you will need another point to help you calculate your y-intercept. So if you have two points, you can definitely get your linear function. This example explains what I mean. Now, the question here is asking us to find the equation. For us to find the equation, we need two points on our graph. And as you can see, we have two points. We have this point over here, which is 2 and 0, and that point over there, which is 1 and negative 1. The reason, like we said before, why we need two points is because we need this point to be able to get our gradient. So our gradient, we use the gradient formula, which says, next thing we do now is to we substitute. So our gradient, as we can see here, is equals to one. To find the equation of our line, which has to look like this, what we'll do is that we'll first of all substitute our m. Then we have a choice. It doesn't matter which one we choose. So let's say we choose 2 and 0 and put it into this equation. So in so doing, our equation would be written as x minus 2, where our gradient is 1 and our y-intercept is negative 2. And this is exactly how they want us to find equations when the graph of a linear function is given. That's it. Another frequently asked question on linear functions is the concept of domain and range. Domain is all the possible x value, while range is all the possible y values. For this linear function, the domain is always an element of real numbers. And range is also y is also an element of real numbers. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it. That's the intro into linear functions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.